menstrual hygiene day is marked on May 28th every year. Most women don't have access to menstrual wear due to lack of resources. Menstrual health is a human right, yet menstruation can result in discrimination, stigma, and exclusion against women and girls. Hello, my name is Patience Namburo, and you're tuned into the Menstrual Health and Hygiene Concert that is brought to you by the Minister of Health and Child Care with PSI, supported by the Swedish Embassy. Today, we will work together to raise awareness of the challenges girls face during their period and encouraging parents and guardians to talk to girls even boys about issues to do with menstrual health and remove the stigma associated with it joining me in studio today is Kay Chaps Kay welcome thank you so much for having me how are you I am very well and it's such a nice setup here <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you know, we are celebrating Menstrual Health and Hygiene Day. Most boys laugh at a girl when she stains a dress in class. Why is that, sir? Well, I think it's basically a matter of not having enough knowledge about the issue. So what we need as a, as a society is to make sure that the boy child and the girl child gets enough information about menstruation at a very early age. So that means we don't necessarily have to wait until they are experiencing it for us to explain to them what it is. But from a very young age, imagine if I'm seven, I'm a boy child, and my mom or whoever is around me or my dad uh, tell me and educate me about that. Then it means when I see somebody going through that for the first time, I won't be laughing. I will know that it's something that is very normal. So yeah. And do you think it's embarrassing? for you as a guy to buy your girlfriend tampoons or pads? Not at all. Not at all. And it all comes back to knowledge, as I was saying. The minute I know that this is very normal, I won't be ashamed or shy to do that because I just know it's something that we have to go through. And that's the reason why we are even sitting here. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you have it, guys. There you have it. And then remember, guys, please try to be a little more supportive to your sister or your girlfriend when they are having their period. Now, I leave you, K Chaps, to take us through with your music. Thank you so much. Let's take it away. Expecting you to wait to be selfish and too wrong. I love you, but the truth is I love music way more. And by handing you number two, girl, I was such an A. Especially when I can first hit everything in your life. You don't deserve it, and I can quit and no buys. I was stuck between your love and a very hard place. Trying to choose wise, but my wine the way. I know you're always gonna find a better person, that's a fake, but I'm never gonna have another life in my raps. And now, all the sacrifices turning me into a mess is true. And this music is a gift and such a curse, but I hope they will appreciate the diamond. I understand the pressure I had to take to be around him. I couldn't bear to see you with the chamber, to be honest. Beg for attention and everything. Those I said I could end up casting those and ziri po, those and ziri po, those and ziri po. I said I could end up casting those and ziri po, those and ziri po, those and ziri. Hey ya, 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 those and ziri po. I said I could. I'm hoping by now you moved on 
expecting you to wait to be selfish and too wrong. I love you, but the truth is I love music way more. And by handing you number two, yeah. This first time that I met you, I sat in the way my boy. Cutting the mavanga, can you take me as I am though? Head of West and eating but the season never let go. Pakazeta Maku and the two of us couldn't stay strong. Yeah, then I could feel longer with forcing it. That's why I kept saying, well now I just gonna make a sense. I never thought I'd be right here doing reminiscence to Shika Pakura just six my labor just to kill the pain. Sorry, I had to put the dream first. Yeah, one tongue, I'm insane. I need distance. I'm just a kid who's trying to make a dream work. And I hope they will appreciate the diamond. I understand the pressure I had to take to be around him. I couldn't bear to see you with the chairman, to be honest. Back for attention and never find it. Those are ziri po. Dai sada kuenda kasin. Those are ziri po. Yeah, yeah. Those are ziri po. Dai sada kuenda kasin. Those are ziri po. Yeah. The name is Kate Sharps, and it's such an honor to be on this stage for the girl child. So yeah. The next song is called Mavanga. And it means desert name scars. But we love each other either way. And the pakati katika wanya to paterera a pafe pakura sisa ure mane kuruaza kwazo ucha mira mira ere uchingo ni simbisa ongunda kambo fara o sevamwe datindi kuwuti ndiri ndeka Bachati uri kuite ina e chimwe changu gusta zindireka Shakai pane zaka naka Pandota za pandino nati Andi siku kumani kiza nono Andi wakani sarurai we Kana wafunga kuda Nini nini baby ndi dene mawanga Wafunga kutora moyo wangu chipa watora ne mawanga Garawa tora zise tora zise tora ne mawanga Garawa tora zise tora zise we ne mawanga Baby Ne mawanga Baby Chifa wa tora ne mawanga Baby Ne mawanga Baby if I want to run in my manga, yeah. Gumbo mumo neri mwe mufungwa. Zishande zese ita make sure. Rudo ibofu avarevi ne ma asira ko baby gari tangi ranya twenty one. Roku tika na ne zese zangu. Baba no unzari me taji ete chang. Usandi tambi sirengu a. Ini ni ni mi baby di de ne manga. Wafunga kutora moyo wangu chifa watora ne mawanga Gara watora zese tora zese tora ne mawanga Gara watora zese tora zese we ne mawanga Baby Ne mawanga Baby Ifa watora ne mawanga Baby Ne mawanga, baby. If I want to run, ne mawanga. Wafunga kuto, ramoyo wangu. To run, ne mawanga. Wafunga kuto, razese zanguwe. To run, ne mawanga. Gara wato, razese, to razese. Ne mawanga. Gara wato, razese, to razese, we. You know, you yeah, can mention yeah. something that hurt me yeah. and my heart will skip a bit. For and this one is good, Mawanga. Or well, I might be uncomfortable for like and a second. It's basically a song about scars. We messed up. It's just like a scar. It's like a hand over it. The whole idea is for us to love one another regardless of those scars. A scar. A scar is proof that I was hurt and I got better. And so the next, the next song... It's uh, 
It's an unreleased song, and it's for Africa. Yeah. And it goes something like, Yeah. Dirkungo da ino kwana inga basa chukubato kere keti no tanya. Tweta seva chiti nima mukana chato da mujeke sera mangwana. Things were too low to end the pico, no way to go. Yeah. Chishu viro, daima tipo, life iribo. Passat pandi meta, passat pandi meta, passat pandi meta, passi passat pandi meta. Beuza perera miri, kozi fura muno na rakasunga madiri. Di chatenge i pando mukandi zivi, hanti chamberi kuri na doma levo zatiri. Maguta yese wakashafa, pano fara keto richi safa. Tingori sita kasi tani sa kwata, apa na chicho na chongo raramani. Cause things were too low to end the pico, no way to go. Now chishu viro, naima tipo, life iri nani she. Passat pandi meta, passat pandi meta, passat pandi meta, passi passat pandi meta. Hey, and things were too low to end the pico, no way to go. Yeah, chishu viro, naima tipo, life iri nani. Passat pandi meza, tu mi raji yeza. Pando fuga mando damu pindure ma prea. Me pote kumusha kwedu zoda kundi tera. Sani wa chishinya wa kusa ma kundi te. Passat pandi meza, tu mi raji yeza. Pando fuga mando damu pindure ma prea. Me pote kumusha kwedu zoda kundi tera. Sani wa chishinya wa kusa ma kundi te. Things were too low to end the pico, no way to go. Chishuviro, daima tipo, life iribo. Passat pandi meta, passat pandi meta, passat pandi meta, passi passat pandi meta. One more time. Things were too low, to end the pico, no way to go. Chishuviro, daima tipo, life iri nani, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. So this one, you know, it's Passat Pani Med, and it's basically a song about Africa because we deserve much better. As Africa, for the girl child to be better, we all have to be better. So, yeah. The next song, yeah, needs no intro. Here I know you've no chapel. Regani to take up with tea, the chimbo guys on window day, because as we now could tang and ask. Wagara uno di jairira Kajinji ndi nongo fawirira Andi chada na yo chanzi Wagara uno di jairira Kajinji ndi nongo fawirira Andi chada na yo chanzi Nekuti chino nete la moyo wako Uchapa, uchapa Wangu se kunye pa uno zama Zikama, zikama Eh, chino nete la moyo wako Uchapa, uchapa Wangu se kunye pa uno zama Zikama, zikama Kandi zute kapu yeti Tichimbo gaz wangu ndoti Kusazu ina kutanga nasi Naboza makuita chibosha Pando peja ucharo wanikama Kuzuno da kuzita nyanzi wewe You can't tell when someone is genuine Kune prenzi ri under eight Watindi cha fila say nini Nini Tine magenga indi tiba mima Siyana ni mwana uyu 
But I kept on watching for you Maybe it depends you Maybe it's like a pussy Pussy Maybe you have a show My rudder and I cook But say you just don't I'm going to be confused Confused Fuse, <laughs> The good is in your net, and I'm on your ago. Uchapa, Uchapa, Wango Shekunye, Pau no Zama, Zikama, Zikama. It's in your net, and I'm on your ago. Uchapa, Uchapa, Wango Shekunye, Pau no Zama, Zikama, Zikama. Since we are going to Chapel, talk on over Tanguet. I'm going to be I'll be fine. It's a matter of time. Chete chete go hunting this one's our Zidza kumbo peri mara nenga ne china Chikumba nina sindi chiri nda kata Mwanga ndi rove zikume Believe me Kita kundi domo tsa ifeit Deceive Waka ni rakiza ze shuwa turi mwa Na wa if Tine makosta kundi toma kumba kudu saka Zoka utore juzi rako na waka kanganwa Nikari tari rando shaya rukare Utore numbita koza waka siya mumba mangu Nikati tari rando shaya rukare Ndo shaya rukare Waka to the attention I gave you I'm broke from all the dreams that you were selling me Uri mpoke munu I felt I should tell you this Banyangwe zazo atizi ma enemies Zakare nde zakare ngati mbozi siye Zerudo za chota imbozi tire Kodai wakandi utoti ya udi waipe Na uchando kumbira kuti utore chuzira kora waka kangana Ndikari tarira ndo shaya rukare Utore numbita koza waka siya mumba mangu yue Ndikati tarira ndo shaya rukare Zichimboitirwe Zerudo za chota izi Zoka utore chuzira Kora waka kanganwa Ndikari tarira Ndo shaya rukare Utore numbita Kota waka siya Mumba mangwiwe Ndikati tarira Ndo shaya rukare Utore chuzira Kora waka kanganwa Ndikari tarira Ndo shaya rukare Utore numbita Kota waka Thank you so much.
to the show guys and as we said earlier we are talking about menstrual health issues thank you very much k chaps for that performance and joining me now on stage is Feli nandi one of the female artists who has taken zimbabwe's music industry by storm Feli. Huh? Hi, Pesci. How are you? Oh, well, thank you. How are well, you? Baby, jumping right into it, uh -huh. what does the start of menstrual period mean to a young lady or woman? I think it's a very important stage having gone through it. I can relate very <laughs> well. I think it's a very, very important stage. Um, it's the beginning of a new journey, emotionally, mentally, physically. So, yeah, it's very important. And then having gone past it, both mm -hmm. you and me, mm -hmm. what do you think can be done to help other girls who are facing challenges when it comes to menstrual health and hygiene? I think the first step is education, educating about it and um, campaigning. And uh, mostly, if we can have... Um, Pets given for free for those who can't afford. That would be amazing. That would be huge. Well, thank you very much, Philly. With those words, I'm just going to leave the stage to you thank and you, you just have to blow us away with your music. Thank you so much.
unochke. Zuvarak tanga zvakana nangari ronde fungwa ziri patanga ufaro ne kutenda ana ne chanda ifunduk apana pas nangu munu akuna wamakasi ane zura mira kufe ma pas nangu munu akuna wamakatari sira wenyu aye. Take it down. And Take <laughs>
Today is Menstrual Health and Hygiene Day and we've had Kay Chaps and Shelly Nandi discuss and share their views on how to make girls feel comfortable during their period. We're about to wrap it up for today, but before we go, we have Tommy Moya in the studio. Tommy has been one of the voices advocating for action and investment for menstrual health and hygiene. Hey Tommy, nice to have you in the studio. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> it's a bit cold, yeah? A little chilly in here, actually. <laughs> well, tell me a quick one before you perform. Why is it important for parents to talk to girls about menstruation before their first menses? I think it's like what you're saying. It's preparation for what is to come. To remind them that when it does happen, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's a natural process. If anything, young women and young ladies should take pride in this process because it is nature, is God's way of showing you or ushering you into womanhood, which is a process that we all come from, both male and female. We all have a mother. We came from somewhere. So, yeah, I think it's important. And also for them to educate their peers as well uh, on the same issues that they would have discussed at home. You know, maybe they have a friend who's not happy having the same discussion at home and they don't know what to do. We are a community, we are a society, we're supposed to help each other and usher each other through these difficult processes. So I believe that uh, communication is important from the homestead right up until, you know, society. Well, you know, we, we are Africans. Are there any myths or taboos that you've heard that are associated with menstruation? Just the one, you know, and I recently discovered that I'm a Christian. It's there biblically. That to go on your menzies is an unclean process and you must be shunned by those around you. Um, but in our today world, we have examples where girls are told not to appear in public. They're told not to appear at work, in school, because the process is unclean, which is not true, mm -hmm. which is not true at all. I think, like I said, it's a very natural process. And the more we communicate about to each other about it and express how important it is to communicate with other young girls and people in our society, the less and less we, you know, we have these myths and taboos around us. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely a natural process. It's mm -hmm. nothing that you should be ashamed of. There's ways to curb even the unclean aspect of it, you know, the availability of pads and tampons in schools. I'm advocating for that as well, Very for stuff. them to be free, um, for young girls. Yeah, but I think that's it. Well, tell me, as an advocate, what are some of the challenges uh, with regards to menstrual health and hygiene that girls face and also what can be done to address them and also break the silence? Okay, just the two most important ones that I would like to highlight is the lack of information, um, how accessible it is to young girls on the importance of discussing this matter, you know. Um, I know that the internet is, is there for us to research and all of that, but it's always important to speak as young ladies and communicate one-on-one. -on -one. It's better when you speak to someone who's experienced it. So the lack of um, information and also... Um, I think we need more and more workshops, campaigns around such matters and uh, the availability of resources, like I was saying, the availability of pads and all you need and panty liners, all of that. Those things are important for young women. And like I said, it would be great if at a legislative level they could consider having things like pads and all these things free in schools and within our communities as well. I think that's one solution. Yeah, and great singing words. about it as well. Great words. <laughs> you, you are such an advocate, yeah? Thank you. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. This has been the Menstrual Health and Hygiene Concert that was brought to you by the Ministry of Health and Child Care with PSI, supported by the Swedish Embassy. Shout out to PSI, which has been working to improve access to information around menstrual health and hygiene, access to sanitary products, and destigmatize menstruation. It's goodbye from me, but I leave you in the safe hands of Tammy Moyo. Let's get it, girl. Let's get it. <laughs>
Once again, so honored to be here today. So grateful for this opportunity. Young girls, you do matter. You are beautiful. Tell me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, 